Hello, and we're back with Aquaculture Engineering. This is lecture 11. This discussion will be on site selection. We will discuss the technical parameters to look into and consider in an aquaculture project. The development of an aquaculture uh, production system involves design. And while an engineer can always opt to uh, introduce interventions to an existing environment, finding one that uh, fits, or at least minimally fits, the desired environmental conditions of a species or species or species, and the operational requirements of uh, the aquaculture system may reduce the interventions to be introduced. Um, interventions usually entail costs to the developer and thus has to be considered with much concern. A certain uh, location may be uh, best suited among others to grow a certain species at a specified production level. It will then be called a uh, suitable site. A, a suitable site supports uh, optimum conditions for growth and uh, feed efficiency of um, of uh, or uh, species at the targeted production level uh, given an effective aquaculture system design and support facilities. Uh, the intervention to be introduced will cover the design of the aquaculture setup and the support facilities. More on the designs later, uh, based on the definition, two conditions or uh, criteria have to be initially met. Uh, this th this is uh, for the site to fit the uh, species and the targeted level of production. For example, salmon can never be or salmon can never be raised in the Philippines as the country is uh, tropical and salmon is uh, uh, fitted for temperate uh, environments or regions. Other criteria are inherent to the location, as you can see, and are environmental factors that should be uh, carefully identified prior to the setup of an agriculture, uh, of an agriculture system. Uh, and these are listed below, uh, the, the first two of species and targeted production level. We have water supply and quality, soil characteristics, topography, climate, and well, other considerations, which, are, which, which will be uh, enumerated later on. Uh, we have uh, this, the species and targeted production level uh, both having been discussed uh, previously with pro targeted production level, the aquaculturist should be able to uh, identify or decide on the type and system of culture. Is it extensive, semi-intensive, or intensive? Will the species be grown in ponds, fence or cages, or more advanced systems like uh, recirculating aquaculture systems or RAS? Uh, this have to be decided on by the decision maker. And here, multi-criteria decision analysis can be a big help. Uh, for water supply and uh, quality, there are only two probable sources, uh, tapping uh, groundwater aquifers or directing uh, surface water or both, which should be advantageous, but also costly as well. Uh, the es essence of having both is the year-round availability of water, but once that is settled, the quality of water comes in. Well, again, uh, interventions can be uh, introduced or can be made, which we shall further discuss in the next week of discussion. The initial water quality uh, will largely determine the interventions and uh, corresponding costs. 
or the likelihood of approval of the location for uh, aquaculture production. Uh, the biochemical characteristics of the water are very important. First, uh, the water should be free of wild fish populations. Uh, it should also be free of siltation and contamination. Lastly, which we shall further discuss, is the suitability of the uh, chemical nature of the water for species growth. As the need for the single most important water parameter is identified, which is dissolved oxygen, uh, the other parameters uh, need mentioning as well. Uh, because these are all involved in an interplay okay, in the natural environment. Okay, first step is dissolved oxygen. Uh, it is the measure of the amount of oxygen dissolved in the water and is again the single main limiting factor to fish survival or life. Thus the most important uh, technical parameter in aquaculture. Low DO levels uh, are responsible for more fish kills either directly or indirectly than all other problems of an aquaculture uh, system combined. Uh, next is the carbon dioxide level. It is the measure of the amount of uh, dissolved carbon dioxide in the water, that which comes from uh, the photosynthesis of plant, aquatic plants, or water sources uh, from limestone rock formations. Uh, the carbon dioxide level fluctuates throughout the day opposite the dissolved oxygen levels. Uh, its increase lowers pH, which in turn affects the ratio of unionized ammonia, which is toxic to uh, or poisonous to organisms in the water, particularly the culture species. Uh, the pH, third, indicates the uh, high hydrogen ion concentration in water and is defined as the negative uh, logarithm of the molar hydrogen ion concentration. This determines the acidity of water. Alkalinity, on the other hand, which is often interchanged with uh, acidity, is the capacity of water to neutralize acid without increasing uh, the pH. Unlike pH, uh, it is actually the measure of the bases like bicarbonates, okay, HCl3 minus, carbonates, CO3 minus, and uh, in, in other in, in cases, okay, hydroxide or OH minus. Uh, the hardness fifth, okay, is a measure of the uh, calcium and magnesium content okay, of the water, including uh, other trace, uh, trace ions such as aluminum, iron, manganese, strontium, zinc, and even hydrogen ions. Okay, last uh, is the chemical parameters, are the chemical parameters, okay? Oh, of the, uh, the ammonia nitrites and hydrogen sulfide, which are poisonous gases okay, from uh, dead and decomposing organic material. Okay, in the uh, sorry, something is wrong with the okay, okay, well, this is the last. Um, okay, uh, the, the issue with um, ammonia nitrates and hydrogen sulfide is that it could never be uh, zeroed, okay? And so the idea is to reduce the, or maintain the levels of these chemicals in quantities that are safe for the growth, uh, development, and the production of the culture species, okay? 
in later discussions, we will cover the intervention, interventions applicable uh, to the different chemical conditions of the water, essentially in ponds, uh, as, as these uh, different water conditions interact with each other, methods of interventions are likewise uh, intertwined. All right, in the next lecture, we will uh, discuss aquaculture processes, uh, particularly water budget, oxygen transfer, and liming. Uh, in that regard, we will all go through feeding and the biochemical cycles. But before that, we will still discuss um, the other site selection criteria. And we will uh, go through uh, numbers four, five, six, and seven. I will see you by then.